Good afternoon. My name is Amy Gill, your pharmacist that cares. Today, I want to talk to you about five ways to show up. When we have something going on, we need to show up 100%. And we need to be in that moment 100%. Not halfway there, not 75% there. We need to be all in when we are doing things. First thing I want to talk about is your healthy living and how you need to be all in with your healthy living and your healthy living journey. Now, when we're talking about healthy living, I'm talking about food. I am talking about meal prepping. I'm talking about getting others involved in your house in this too. You can't do this alone. You don't need to be making two or three different meals. You need to be getting everybody on board with you and eating healthy. Take them to the grocery store. Let them jump online with you if you want to do Instacart. Help get the family involved in picking out those healthy options and in meal prepping. My boys love to help do those things. They love to chop stuff up. And if we're going to meal prep, they'll put it in little containers. They love to do all that or even freeze it if that's what you want to do. But get the family involved. And speaking of the grocery store, when you shop, Remember, the perimeter of the store is where you want to shop. You want to shop those healthy fruits and vegetables, those things that aren't going to last but a couple days. Because when you buy stuff from the middle of the store that's all boxed up, it's full of preservatives, artificial colorings, flavorings, all those nasty things. And that's why it lasts long. That's why there's a long expiration on this stuff is because of that. We definitely don't want that. It is not good for our body to process it and it can't process those things. So please be mindful when you're thinking of that and be all in and get everybody else to be all in with you. Now, not just food goes into the healthy living. We have to talk about exercise because that is so important. Don't buy that gym membership and never go. What's the point of that? Get somebody to hold you accountable if you need to. Make it, again, a family effort. Find a friend to go with you to hold you accountable. It is tough to work out on your own. I will be the first one to tell you that. That's why I have a trainer that helps me. I need somebody to hold me accountable to know it's time to jump on either in person with him or on Zoom that he is waiting for me. That's the only way it really, really works because it's so easy to find other things to do. But when you set aside that time, whether it's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever the time you're going to work out, be all in, put everything in. Don't be focusing on other things that need to be done. Please focus on your health, your exercise, and the energy that you are creating from that. Are you going to be exhausted? Absolutely. But it's going to be a good exhaustion, right? And you're going to have so much more energy from doing that. So important. The last thing I want to talk about with healthy living is your mindset. Again, positive thoughts, you guys, because really misery loves company. Your mind's going to work bad things once you start going down that negative rabbit hole. Don't let yourself do that. Be all in with looking for the positive in things, looking for gratitude. If something happens, find that gratitude and you will quickly change things around into a positive way. And that's important for everybody else in your household as well, right? The next thing I want to talk about is being all in and showing up for your family and friends. When you are going to, let's say you're going to have, you're going to be with your family, right? You've set aside, you're all going to sit down. You're going to have a healthy meal. Don't be on your phones. Don't turn the television on. Don't be distracted. Don't be on your iPads, your computers, whatever it is. Be there, be present in the moment. Enjoy that time with your family. If you're all going to sit down, you're going to play a board game. Again, put those devices away. They can wait for later. You'll never get those moments back with your family. So enjoy every second because you know what there's gonna be time you wish you did take those five minutes to make that phone call to somebody that is no longer there you'll those things you can never get those black never get those back so it is so so important to be present and with your friends make the time to call your friends don't just text them talk to them have lunch with them like i said at least talk with them over the phone texting is fine for a lot of things but take those times be all in. Be that friend that you want them to be back to you. Again, so important. Friends, they're, they're always there for you and, and you want to be all there for them and you want to show up. You want to be there when they need you the most. 
The next thing I want to talk about is work. No matter what you do for work, show up. And when I mean show up 100% in the moment, look like you are going to work. Okay, that's number one. Don't, if now, if you work at a gym, fine, then yes, show up in workout clothes. Okay, that's perfectly acceptable if you work at a gym. If you do not work at a gym, and you're going to go do, let's say networking, for example. Okay, so you do some sort of, of job that you need to, you're going to be networking. Show up, fix yourself up. Don't look like you just rolled out of bed. Look like you care because people are going to see that and they are they know you're gonna you are hundred percent present in the moment. You are there. You want to be there. This is not some obligation that you actually enjoy going to these events. So important. And let's let's go back to networking for a second. When you're there and you're networking with people, you're talking with people. There is really only one reason you should ever have your phone out. And that is if you use your phone as a calendar and you're scheduling time to talk with them, don't have your phone out. When somebody else is talking, pay attention to them. Why? Because you want that same respect back. You want them to pay attention to you when you are talking. So be there in the moment, show up. Let's say, okay, I go to the pharmacy, right? So when I go to the pharmacy, 100%, I need to be focused on what I'm doing. I need to be focused on filling the prescriptions, helping my patients, counseling them. When they're talking to me and asking me questions, do I need to be thinking about all these other things? Absolutely not. I need to be thinking about what I am doing with them right now and how I'm gonna answer that question. So no matter what you do for your job, be there, show up 100%. Important. And it's actually safe. It's, it's a safety thing as well, especially when it comes to me. I need to be listening. I don't want to give them a wrong answer because I was only half listening. And that's important with so many things. People, there's, there's all kinds of safety issues you can have depending on what is in your workplace. So be there, pay attention to what you're doing. Another thing that we need to show up for are others. We need to volunteer people that you might not know, but they need you. When you see a cause that, that means something to you, volunteer, be part of it. You need to be there because if, let's say right now we just had, had all these floods. If you are someone that can donate, if you live somewhere close that you can help people, be there, help others. They, they very likely will never know who you are, but it is so important to show up because when things will happen to us, we hope others will show up and they will be there for us as well. So find that time, take that time to volunteer, find those causes that are important to you. Like for example, right now, my boys, they're working on a project um, to deliver clean drinking water to school children in Kenya. Will they ever meet these children? Absolutely not. But this is important and it's dear to themselves, it's dear to their hearts. They want to give these children the same opportunities they have. They want them to focus on their education, not worrying about the basic necessity of life. And those are things that you can do to volunteer. You are helping somebody make a better life. And just, and, and, and like I said, again, somebody you will never see, but what an impact you can have on those people. And the last person you need to show up 100% for is yourself. You need to show up 100% for yourself. You need to find time sometimes to reset. If you get going and going and going, where are you going to be? Like running around in circles, right? You need to be present in the moment for yourself. Sometimes that means taking a little break. Maybe reading a couple chapters of a personal development book, listening to it on Audible. Maybe it means going shopping, which I do enjoy doing. I just like walking around sometimes, even, even outside, right? Find those times to reset because you will burn out. And if you don't show up for yourself, what's going to happen? You're going to burn out and you're not going to be able to do any of these other things I was just talking about. There's no way you're going to be able to meal prep. Think about shopping and eating and doing the perimeter of the store. You're going to do a quick fast food because oh, you just can't do it. Exercise is definitely not going to be a top priority. And if you're already feeling like that, where do you think your mindset's going to go? Right? How is this going to affect your family and friends? How's this going to affect your work? And then you definitely won't find time to help others or volunteer. So really, I know I put yourself last, but honestly, that is definitely might be last, but it's definitely not least. It is so important to work on yourself. So set that time aside that you can do that. 
then you'll be able to do all these other things and you will be able to show up 100% in all aspects of your life. Now, speaking about showing up, I know I've talked before about our 30 Days to Healthy Living program. Guys, it is time not to keep pushing things off the side. It is time to set a goal, set a plan, and reach out to me, and I can show you how we can do this healthy living journey together. So we're getting ready to start another one in about a week and a half. Reach out to me. I will give you all the ins and outs, tell you exactly how we can go about setting this up to start working on it. I also do have my Facebook group, my Healthy Living with Amy Gill. Um, I do post things in there. I'll post things about this program and other challenges I'm doing as well. People can ask questions. There's all kinds of fun information and education in my Healthy Living group. So please, the bit.ly's down there. You can jump on that, message me, and I can invite you to join the group as well. Thank you guys so much for listening. I hope you are ready to show up 100% in all aspects of your life. My name is Amy Gill, your pharmacist that cares.